Welcome to Katazan. Katazan is the house of John. <laughs> and that is a uh, running joke because actually it was the house of his, uh, his wife Mabel. But uh, this was the winter residence of John and Mabel Ringling. It was built to the designs of the architect Dwight James Baum between 1924 and 1926 at a cost of $1.5 million. Its Venetian Gothic style reflects the Ringling's love of Italy, which was one of their favorite vacation destinations. The mansion was used for entertaining guests, including the politicians Al Smith and Jimmy Walker, and entertainers from uh, Flo Zigfield, Billy Burke, and Will Rogers. So I'm going to go on inside and bring you along for a nice tour of this beautiful mansion here on the shore of... Uh, of Sarasota, Florida, the winter home of uh, John and, and Mabel Ringling. I thought I'd stop at the tower here and give you a nice view of the front of this beautiful home, or what was once a home to John and, and Mabel Ringling. Just beautiful. And having been to Venice, Italy several times, I sure can appreciate their uh, love of that wonderful place in the world. Look at the just gorgeous. 1.5 million to build this home back in the in the 20s, I would imagine. Be a considerable amount more than that in today. So I'm just going to do my best to walk you through some of the the grounds and the, and as much of the inside as I as I can. The price of admission into the museum includes, I believe, it's the first floor, and then if you want to go upstairs and see other parts of the museum, you, there's an extra cost incurred for for that. You can see the, the beautiful views all around here. You know, not too far down the road in Fort Myers where I live is the summer home of Henry Ford and Thomas Edison. I wonder if the Ringlings and the Fords and Edisons ever got together for barbecues. Look at that. Just on the other side of the of the mansion is the Gulf of Mexico. Okay, I did see that. Yeah. Look at that. Not a bad place to spend the winter, I'd imagine. Wow. As I understand it, they have various social functions here on these grounds, which would be nice to come down and partake in, come up and partake in, I should say, as I live about an hour south of here, a little bit more than that, actually. go around to the back. All right, I found my way to the back of the mansion. And you actually feel like you're in, in Venice, Italy. I got to tell you, it is just beautiful. It's a beautiful building. some of the ornaments on the on the building here for you. Try to hold my camera as steady as I can. Tom's homemade movies. Absolutely gorgeous.
All right, let's see if we can't find our way inside this beautiful home. All right, the first word that comes to mind when you walk inside this mansion is, wow, what a gorgeous, gorgeous home. Look at this. So when you come in with the uh, price of admission, price of admission is a uh, $25 to come in and it gives you access to most of the grounds and the it also gives you access to the miniature museum and the other museum and the rose garden and uh, gives you access to the first floor of the mansion here. So look at this. It's gorgeous. Yeah, they're giving up. Almost. It was done by Velasquez's son-in-law in his studio under his tutelage, but not by the master. So I'm just going to walk you through the walk you through the home as I'm able to. Before we go upstairs, I want to know an actual Otis elevator. Looks like we're going into the East Ballroom. Now I know what they did with all the money from those, selling all those peanuts and popcorn. Look at the ceiling here. They have depictions, it looks like, from different parts of the, the world. Just a really beautiful, beautiful home. This area here is known as the court. The architect, Dwight James Baum, and the Ringlings referred to the central living space as the court. This room was the focal point for the Ringlings entertaining, yet its lavish furnishings were made intimate by introducing overstuffed velvet sofas flanking the fireplace. John purchased the crystal chandelier from the old Waldorf Astoria, which was to be demolished to make room for the Empire State Building. So there's the chandelier that was in the Waldorf Astoria. That was torn down to make room for the Empire State Building. And look at the ceiling. This looks like that would be Mabel right there. I think she probably wore the pants in the family, like most women. If I can get a picture of him, there's Mr. Ringling right there. Happy looking guy. Some more pictures. That's probably Mrs. Ringling on the right, I would imagine. Wow. Looks like a piece of ceramic you would buy over in over in Italy. This is the breakfast room.
You really do feel like you're in Venice as you walk through this this house. Here's their, their silver. This is the valet's pantry, Tom and Gail McCabe. Looks like the ice box right there. All right, so I'm walking into the uh, pantry and the and the kitchen here at the home of the Ringlings. You can see there's the refrigerator. Back in the 20s, I'd imagine they probably used ice. This looks like there's a, a cookbook right here. And here's the stove. Look at this, Westinghouse Automatic. Just gorgeous. All right. Would be a staircase going up to the second floors or the upper floors, I should say. So let's go look at the at the dining room. It's Gentlemen giving a tour. It wouldn't fit in this room, they would have put it out there. The chairs that you see um, are extra up against the wall, but we have even more stored up on the third floor. When she bought the chairs, she had them reupholstered, so we really don't know what the original chairs looked like. This is an early example of machine embroidery done in the United States. And when the restoration was being done, uh, the backs were left, they were just clean. They had to show a little wear, but the embroidery for the most part is in good shape. They did reproduce the seat material and the fringe material was all redone. Now the ducks on the center of the table are sterling silver from Germany. Her favorite accessories were told, uh, they have holes in the back, the heads removed. She would make rose water from the petals of the roses that she grew in her garden. She'd put the water in there, get the dining room a nice aroma. And probably Mr. Ringling smoked cigars next door, so probably didn't burn to have the rose water in there. Well, if you're coming to the house, you would have entered the front door over here. You would have come into the foyer. I'll take you along on the tour. Beautiful tapestries. The Tondo uh, from the Della Robbia workshop. Yeah, if you want to say 16th, 17th century. It's entitled Adoration of the Christ Child. And you can go upstairs for the extra part of the tour here. The grand staircase. The Katazan is seated majestically on the edge of the Sarasota Bay, having 56 rooms they had seven and 36,000 square now, feet. They had position, like, uh, they had the one the chauffeur, the one cook, the main uh, gardener, right. the main housekeeper, the butler, and the yachtsman. And then when the ringlings were here, uh, the head staff would hire what they needed. For instance, I had mentioned the uh, one chauffeur had the six cars to deal with. We're told John and Mabel didn't drive, so when it was busy, he'd hire people to come on a daily or an hourly basis. And uh, again, with the cook and the maid, if Mrs. Ringling had asked over 100 people to come to lunch or 40 or 50 for a dinner party, they need some help. So they'd hire what they needed. They would not stay in the house. The seven did live here. Their quarters were at the south wing. We'll point that out as we get to that point. I mentioned earlier that this is painted canvas by Robert Webb, and what he's doing here is kind of interesting. He's showing the growth of the vineyard. So he starts in the center with the growing of the grapevines, then as he goes each way, you can see the vines thicken, they blossom, they're growing, and then by the time you get to both ends, the grapes are mature and ready to harvest. So it's kind of a neat idea, rather than just painting it all alike, he shows the progression across the ceiling. Now, the elevator was installed when the house was built. It's an Otis elevator, said to be the first Otis in Florida, not the first 
elevator, but the first Otis, and it does go to the basement and all the way up to the fourth level. And um, she's opening the door there. You can see very, very beautiful 1920s elevator. So, uh, did you want her to take yes. the baby in the elevator? Um, do you want to leave the stroller down here and I'll get you just carry her upstairs? Because okay. that way, otherwise, we, we want to have you use So, they're going to go through and do the rest of the tour, and I'm going to find my way back out front. So I hope you enjoyed this tour of the Ringling's home here in beautiful Sarasota, Florida. Would highly recommend uh, getting off at getting off Route 75 on your way down to Southwest Florida and, and stopping in and seeing this wonderful, wonderful exhibit.